Hey dude, Thub Life on a Monday. Halfway's decent sales on the weekend. Catalytic converters. Not about to put that much effort into packaging these because, uh, I mean, they're scrap metal. So, no need to spend a good bubble wrap. So, we're just gonna use shopping bags. Uh, I really gotta. This is more to protect everybody else's packages from this one. I'm just gonna start using wrapping paper because it's, uh, I've got a lot of it. Kijiji was actually pretty popping this weekend too. Um, where did we. So we sold the last set of skis. Uh, somebody offered me 15 bucks for those and I was like, yeah, sure, Let's get them out of here. What do I care? Um, got uh, five bucks for a lamp. And I know that's not much, but I never seem to get much for lamps unless they're in a pair. If you've got like a match, like a pair, it's like a set that does a lot better. Um, and then I sold um, the subwoofer and the box and the uh, amp for $40 for the kit. And I know that doesn't seem like much, um, but the 12-inch sub was, uh, like the voice call was binding. In layman's terms, that means it was blown. Um, or no, I got 45 for that. I sold it as a set. 45 bucks for the amp and the... Um, 10 inch sub with some free gifts. And yes, I know that was a ridiculously good price, but that's sort of what I aim for. Because you gotta realize these are. Uh, my inventory costs are pretty cheap. Also got 40 bucks for the uh, Harley Davidson exhaust. Again, great price, I know. But the, the fast turnover is what I'm going for here. And then the stay warm food delivery box was 10 bucks, and then the um, circular saw, you know, the, um, the saw, the skill saw. And then I got 20 bucks for that, which kind of sucks. I was hoping to get more for that, but unfortunately there were, there's quite a few on Kijiji right now. I think there's like six, or, there was at least four of the exact same brand, exact same model for 25 bucks. So... You know, you gotta be competitive. I guess it's just not the the season for it. If I wanted to hang on to it for four months, probably could have gotten 30 bucks. Without using the rolled up heavy paper that sits inside the uh, Christmas paper I just finished, would work really good for wrapping this. And I'm not saying it doesn't, but uh, the tape sure doesn't like to stick to it. tape sticks to itself just fine. Love this thing so much. Boom! So this morning, I dropped the little guy off for school. I left like 20 minutes early because I, I really hate being late. I feel like it makes me look like a tool and it gives him the wrong. 20 minutes early and there was a um, this semi truck that had bumped up over and on top of the concrete uh, which cut down three lanes of traffic into one lane of traffic and I didn't take a photo or video of that because I was driving and uh, but to take a shot of the uh, pile up that it caused. So that uh, ate my 20 minute head start for breakfast, which kind of blew <clears throat> because I was planning on getting that done really quick and heading off and doing some bottle picking, but that didn't work out. So I went on a bit of a treasure cruise and I ended up with um, a nice cast, uh, you know, brake pads. That's like five bucks. And then I also came upon this. Which, if nothing else, is a halfway decent piece of uh, cast aluminum. But, even though it's missing the piece of glass here, I know it's worth a lot more as a piece of furniture. So, more on that later. And then I also ended up with these. Ah. Somebody tossed out two 
perfectly good laptop. They're nowhere near perfectly good, and they're both XP machines, so they're old, but it's good scrap, along with those wires that I found. Now, I also found something else that we gotta head back out for, so we're gonna double that up with the uh, trip to the post office. So far, I wouldn't call today a huge success, but it feels like it's going somewhere. You never know. Nope. That's okay, it's just always a fun surprise. Now, let's go pick some cash. 560 for 500 grams of Reese's though. That does seem pretty good. Here we are. This bin right here. Because this bin has quite a few of these bad boys. Let's just see how many we end up with. How's it going? What's up? You about to throw something big in? Yeah, I took... Don't know. I'm glad I'm making noise. Um, I'm... <laughs> well, hey, I'm at my own risk. I get that. I'm, um, I'm just picking off the wires and such, but I'm kind of sorting them in, so you'll have a lot more space when I'm out of here. I hope they appreciate my hard work. Made them a lot more space in here now. That's pretty heavy. That took the better part of an hour. I think I got a fair bit of stuff though, but it's all like hairy and bunched, so it's difficult to know. It's real heavy though. We're gonna go find out if it was worth doing. Uh, we're gonna do the sorting at the scrapyard though, because they probably didn't want me hanging around, like at all, let alone for any longer. So hopefully I made enough to pay for the parking ticket I probably just got. I was just thinking about how hungry I was and I realized I still have my spare pair. Okay, I'm breathing, I'm living for a reason. This is my season. I'm done with people pleasing. I gotta live my life before I'm out of time. I can't worry about what you think is right. All right. That took longer than I wanted it to, but we got a decent pile of wire, two buckets full of these, and I cut all of those off. Gross. And those I'm gonna add to the pile at home because they actually have stuff in them. Oh, and those are empty casings, and that's aluminum breakage. Let's see what that's worth. All right, we're back home. Room's a bit of a mess, don't judge me. So let's run through that. I got, uh, you know. So since we didn't get any bottle picking, what did we make in a single day of scrap metal? I'm probably gonna call this video something like that. So, 
Uh, those two buckets of ballasts were what I was really interested in because I never grabbed them because they're not worth very much, but I wanted to know what a whole ton of them was worth. Anyway, we had 58 pounds of them at 10 cents a pound, so that's five bucks and 80 cents. But we also got 350 for the um, aluminum, the wire uh, casings, and four dollars for the um, aluminum breakage. Now I could have picked that stuff apart, but I don't think I would have gotten any more. In fact, I probably would have gotten less. They were pretty heavy, and a lot of that weight was the steel. So, not to mention the time I would have spent doing that. The real money there was, as usual, the wire. Um, Twenty-four bucks. Now, I would have gotten more money for the wire if I'd gone somewhere else, but the reason why I went there, big house converters, is because they're the um, they're the best price on the uh, ballasts. They give 10 cents, whereas other places in town give 5 cents. I probably would have been better off, in hindsight, taking everything to bare wire recycling, because I would have made $8 more on the wire, but I thought I was going to have a lot more weight in ballasts, um, so I didn't want to sacrifice cutting my payout on that in half. If I had known that my total was only going to be 580 then yeah, I would have lost $2.90 to gain $8. But I also wanted to bring in uh, the catalytic converters that did not sell that I had listed on eBay. I These ones I thought were going to be the money piece, so I put the starting bid at 100 bucks, which was, yes, I was way off the mark. Those converters I brought in a uh, total of 64 bucks. So it's a darn good thing nobody took a chance on those. So that means 37 bucks from one bin. And it took me an hour poking around in there and about an hour and 15 minutes to do all the sorting and drive to and back from uh, big house converters. So two and a quarter hours, that's okay, it's not great, but it filled my tank. And that more or less fits my daily budget. So I can survive another day to list things on eBay and clean things up and throw them on Kijiji. Now, there's a couple last things I want to go do today. I will show you how they go, if anything happens. That's what I'm talking about. Well, that little excursion was basically a huge bust. Um, not a big deal. Got a few cans. Some days it works and some days it doesn't. It's all about timing. Now, the, uh experiment has been killing this cat with curiosity this bad boy right here laptop screen now it was broken well before I found it which is a good thing for me because it means the uh, mercury gas that's typically within these things has probably all escaped so this is what I was trying to do you see that that's a tiny, tiny fluorescent tube. And it looks like there was only one on this laptop. Um, obviously I broke it, so I did get a little bit of mercury gas up in my face, but not that much, not gonna worry. My hope was that I could replace this, this one here with it. Well, not replace it, but um, put one down in here. I thought that was gonna be really clever, but unfortunately, there different sizes in both ways. This one's a lot shorter and a fair bit thicker. Hey, it was worth a shot. I thought I was being clever. I was being clever. Speaking of clever, I know full well I left probably 80 bucks worth of steel sitting in that bin, but I just don't have the cargo space to haul something like that. I maybe should have taken the um, that steel pipe because at least that stuff's dense enough. I might go back and grab those anyway because they're all piled up nicely. It wouldn't even be that hard. If I'm in the area, I'll get them. That's just where I'm at with steel, though. Those, um, uh, those brake drums, though, I'm down with those, because they're a better price. Yeah, you gotta make some compromises when you're running around doing stuff like this with a small, efficient vehicle. And it is an efficient vehicle. I spend very little on gas. There's a million different ways to do things. Doesn't make one of them right and one of them wrong. Thanks for checking out uh, the eBay store, for the, the, those of you guys that uh, had a visit. Thanks for reaching out. The letters and the emails and ah yeah yeah I'm glad you guys are here. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing. I can't wait until tomorrow.